Hey, art friends, we're going to try another bear today. What kind of bear? A polar one. <laughs> a polar one. All right, checkers, you got your marker? Yeah. We hope you guys are going to follow along. You got a marker and you got some paper. You're going to draw with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if we go too fast? Pause the video. Okay. All right. What's wrong with your marker? <laughs> All right, and so at the end of this video, we're also gonna color our polar bear and we're gonna use colored pencils, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, got your marker ready? Yeah. Okay, first oh, step. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, first step, we're gonna draw his little eye and it's just gonna be small. It's gonna be over here on the left of our paper, in the middle of the paper this way, but it's gonna be over to the left. And it's just gonna be a little dot because we're gonna try to draw him realistically. Well, that's really right far over there. Maybe not that far. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, bring it in. There you go. Yes, nice job. Okay, and then we're going to draw a line that comes down for his forehead. So it's going to come down from his eye, and it's going to come down diagonally, like that, to his nose. Good, and then we're going to come back around for his nose and his mouth. Or his chin. Good job and you know what let's make that his mouth and then we'll do his bottom lip underneath and then his nose will be thicker okay, okay. so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put his little mouth i'm gonna put a little mouth right here and you can draw right. his jaw underneath that, yeah, that yes of, like yeah. that exactly like that good job sorry i got really excited it looks good <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're gonna draw his nose so we'll draw a little curve at the end of his nose, and we can color that in. Then I left a little highlight at the top. I'm not sure you can see it though. But okay, let's keep going. So now we're gonna draw the his eye, his eyebrows, or his uh, the top, the other side of his head. It's on that side. Good. Okay, and then we're gonna draw. This is gonna come back into his. It's kind of a wavy line. It's coming back into his neck and then into his shoulders. Good. Okay, now let's draw some ears on there. So we're going to draw a little upside down U there. And then we're going to draw another upside down U right on this side. Good job. Okay, now on the inside of that, let's put a little the center of his ear. Sweet. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of his neck and his fur. So we're going to draw a little curve that comes down. And then we're going to do some zigzag lines that come down further so it's starting to get thicker. Okay, now we're going to come down to his first leg. So we're going to draw, comes down, and he's going to be walking. So he's going to have one leg in front of the other. Okay, now we'll come down and we'll make his foot come out. And we can curve down. Good job. And then we can do a little zigzag line for some claws. And then we're going to come back for the bottom of his foot. You don't want to go too far because you don't want his leg to be too big. You could probably come a little further, maybe in there somewhere. Good job. Okay, now let's come back up. We're going to come back up for the rest of his leg. Sweet. That looks so cool. Okay, now let's draw the other leg, but it's going to be in front of this one. So we're going to come over here. Draw it down, so he's walking, and this line is going to stop in line with this one. So about the same, that point, I'll come down a little further, and then we're going to come out for the foot, and then a zigzag, and then a line back, similar to the other one. Got it. Nice. Okay, and then we're going to come back up to finish that leg. And it can be kind of wobbly. Cool. We did it. We're done. Yay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's only part of them. <laughs> we need to keep going. Okay, let's draw his shoulder. So he's got a little bump right here for his shoulder. Okay, now we're gonna draw his back, and it's gonna come over here. It's gonna hook around for his his uh, butt, and then we're gonna draw the rest <laughs> of his. 
Oh no, we got giggles. How can, oh, we always gotta draw that part. What am I gonna call it? <laughs> okay, let's bottom. keep going. It's bottom. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll refer to his butt as his bottom. <laughs> we'll call it his bottom. All right. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw his back, and then we're gonna go in. So we'll, oh jeez, I'm not gonna be able to draw it with you laughing. We're gonna curl around like that. So hook around for his bottom. Okay. Okay. Stop it. I draw. Uh, nobody else is gonna be able to draw this because they're laughing. <laughs> All right, let me see you do it. His back. Stop it. <laughs> and then his butt. Bottom. Well, that's a really long bear. You kept going there, didn't you? <laughs> it's a hot dog bear. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. So we could draw we could draw his back leg really thick and then it won't look as long. Okay. Cool? Okay. okay. So let's keep going. We're going to draw his tail right here, okay? So we're going to draw a U shape for his tail. Yes. It's on his, on his bottom. Okay, great. <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to draw his back leg, okay? So we're going to draw a line that comes down here and it's going to cross over and he's going to be picking this leg up, okay? So he's going to cross over. <laughs> So that's his back leg. <laughs> okay. And then this is going to turn into his foot and he's walking. So we're going to curl this down and that's going to be his, his foot. That's nice. And then this foot should kind of go down to about the same, the same place where uh, his feet are touching. So down here. Yep. Okay. And then let's draw, we can draw a couple zigzag lines for his claws. And then we're going to curl back for his foot. Okay, now this is where we can get kind of thick. So you're going to come over here like really far, probably in, you can probably go even further, like right in there somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to start here. We're going to curl this line. There's his knee. And then it's going to come up into his body. Okay, so I could have probably even gone further. So you could start down here. And then we're going to come up a little bit and then curl in. So it's an S line. Nice job. No, that looks really cool. Okay, now we're going to draw, we can draw the zigzag line or that looks like his fur on his belly. That's going to come all the way like this and we can come back up. Oh, he's, he's a full bear. Maybe just eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you started up here. That's okay. I started. So we start. Uh, I started down here. See that? Now that's fine. There's no mistakes, right? So okay. go ahead and do a zigzag all the way across. Yes, and then let's make him a little thicker. So let's do another one that's down here and maybe comes all the way over there, and then he's a little thicker. So we draw another zigzag line so it's lower. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks really cool. This just looks like part of his fur. All right, so now let's draw his back, his leg that's on the ground. So we're gonna pretend this, or imagine this line comes through his foot, his leg, and then comes out on the backside, and then stops at the same place. So we want his feet all lined up on the, on the ground. Good, and then we're gonna come across, and we want this to be about the same length as all of his feet, so he doesn't have a big one and a small one. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the claws, a little zigzag line and then a curl back up and over for the top of his foot and then we're going to curl back in for the rest of his leg awesome dude that's sweet he looks really cool you did a good job man okay now we need a color right yeah okay let's do it okay the colors we're going to use are a light blue we're going to use this for the background and then we got a white and this is a really light gray that we're going to use it's actually called uh, warm gray. It's a 10% warm gray. And we're gonna use this to shade our polar bear. So first thing though is we're gonna, let's do the background, okay? So okay. we're gonna do uh, blue uh, in the background and we're gonna leave the ground white. So we're gonna, we're gonna color the background 
all the way down to this line and we're gonna pretend like he's standing on ice. Cool? Yeah. Okay, so let's fast forward that part and then we'll do the shading after. Good job, Chuckers! That looks awesome. We did some cool stuff with the background, didn't we? Yep. We, so we used our blue, but we started dark in the middle, and then we faded it out to white. And that was that's a little trick, so we don't have to color the whole thing in blue. Mm -hmm. And it looks really neat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you ready to shade? Mm -hmm. We're going to use our light gray, and we're going to start... Let's start over here. I started doing a little bit on his front leg, but we're going to start over here on his head. So we're going to do uh, some, some shading close to his nose, because the... The end of his nose is a lot darker. And then we're going to blend it up to his forehead. Okay. And then let's shade his ears. And then I'm going to do a little shadow behind his ears. Sweet. Okay, now let's come down to his, uh, his neck, front of his neck. And I'm using short back and forth so that he looks like he has short fur. Yes. Remember that on our strokes. other, on the grizzly bear? Short stroke so he looks like he has short fur. I'm coming all the way down his front leg and I'm gonna leave the top of his foot white and then we're gonna come back on this side and shade this side of his leg and then we'll come underneath his foot. Good, that looks awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna come a little further up his leg into his shoulder. Sweet. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and let's do a shadow right, right next to his body. And we're gonna come down the back of his leg, kinda like we did over here, and then we'll go underneath his foot. Good job. Okay, now let's do his belly. And we're gonna do short strokes short fur and you can go all the way up shade in all the way up to that black line and that could be the shadow line isn't that cool yeah it doesn't really look like a mistake anymore <laughs> <laughs> no mistakes right yeah yeah all right okay now let's go a little further up here on his on his back leg good so a little line that comes up his back leg and we're gonna go down his leg, short strokes. Sweet. Okay, good job. Now let's color a big shadow or kind of a thick shadow underneath on the back leg. Good, and then down this part, the back of his leg. And then the bottom of his foot. Okay, now we're going to come over here and shade under his tail. And then let's shade his tail a little bit. We did it! Good job, Chuckers! Man, he looks so awesome. The cool thing I like about polar bears is you don't really have to do a lot of coloring on him to make him look 3D because they're white, right? Yeah. We use white paper. Yeah! yeah. Give it five. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your polar bears with us. Remember, it's okay if they look different than ours. They should look different, right? Yeah. Yours looks different than mine. Mm -hmm. And it still looks super cool. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and remember to also practice because I promise the second time that you draw it, it'll always be better than the first time. Mm -hmm. We like practicing, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends.